movie. Hey, welcome back again. This is our series of making sense out of tube flies, tube fly rigging, and tube fly hooks. So when I'm, if I'm using a hook that I want the eye of the hook to seat in the tube, these are some of the choice. These are some of my favorite choices. And by that, what I mean is a situation like this where I'm using a hook guide on a nanotube and that hook eye is seated right in the back of that tube. So I want a ring eye hook for that. Here's the other example is a 4040 tube with a B10S. I would like that hook eye pulled it's nice and firmly into that 4040 tube. Here's some of these ring eye hooks that we really like. Uh, there's the Arex Minnow, uh, size 4 or size 2. You can go bigger or smaller. These are stout hooks with a big eye. Here's the Gamagatsu SL12S. This is a short shank hook, very sturdy, very nice. And the barbs can, these are all micro barbs. They can be pinched very easily. The B10S, it's a longer shank. But it, uh, again, it, it's a ring eye, small barb. Here's the Gamagatsu Glowbug, size two. You, uh, th these are really nice short shank hooks. For our trout, trout tube flies, I'll use size four, six, sometimes eights. Uh, and then the owner, SSW, uh, this is a straight, uh, straight eye hook. So these are all examples, if I'm seating the the, uh, the eye hook in the tube, great hooks. We'll have links below. Now, if I'm going to use, uh, if I'm going to have a hook rigged on a, uh, a trailer loop, uh, here's some great hooks. The OPST, size 2. Now this is, this is an up eye, but it's very slightly up. So this could be used, this could be pulled straight into a tube as well. The owner SSW uh, with the up eye, the Gamma Gatsu Octopus. Th this up eye is well suited to using with the loop, and then the Aqua Talon hook by Aquaflies. Micro barb, uh, standard barb, uh, micro barb, barbless. These are all really good hooks to use. We'll have links below. You can be very confident when you're fishing these with your tubes. Thank you for joining us.